Hello and welcome back to a new episode of EU4 Voltaire's Nightmare. I am Master Boost and I'm joined as always by Zatelier. Hello. And after punching Brussels, I think I need to, uh, well, sit on my hands just a little bit. Develop my yeah, nation. Annexing one of my vassals. Oh, and Zutphen uh, joined the alliance that I uh, offered them last time. Now I remember. <laughs> Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you passed right after I sent that request, so... Let's see. Um, you are... Pressing... I you do some training, then. Mm. Yeah, so this is gonna take until... Oh, God, it's still gonna take a long while. I have claims there. Claims there. Hmm, Guinness okay. claims there, okay. So apparently my queen is a fierce negotiator, minus 25% mercenary maintenance. Oh, that's a good deal. Yeah, I just don't really use mercenaries all that much. I do. <laughs> Can you send her over, please? No, she's I mean, my queen. Not, <laughs> not, to be fair, not that I really need it, because uh, I can pay him. That's not a problem. Hmm, more colleges. Would I... You know what, I'm going to drop a college on Tessel, just because I can. Okay, I can start fabricating on you guys. Oh wait, you actually wouldn't mind to be vassalized. And if I do? Okay, so I am improving relations with Normandy, who is a little bit disloyal. Oh wait, you are allied to... Uh, okay. And you? Is also your also rifle. If I give gifts, they will not be disloyal anymore. That would be quite useful. Okay, I'm gonna play it like that. Morning doesn't want to. Get. You would like to, though. Oh, right. All else is in a personal union under me. I forgot that one. Oh! <laughs> So, two of those uh, Groningers, well, regions don't like me enough to be vassalized because I'm allied to Groningen. The third one does. Huh. So I'm just going to improve relations up the wazoo. Yes, I'm going to be over Diplo, but eh, you know. The only downside is their uh, Count Bishopric, so I can't marry them for the extra 25 points. Ah. So I'll have to hope that, um, hmm. I could get the next level of text on admin and military, but I think I'm going to wait until next year, save up some points. What, level 13? Yeah. Nice. Because I wouldn't be getting the innovativeness because someone has already researched them. Oh. So, as you know, I'm just gonna wait. <laughs> yep, basically what we're doing. Uh, I can cancel that one because I won't be fighting you for a while. Uh, the papacy still likes me, that's good because I don't want to be excommunicated. Thank you very much. Parliament. Ah. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. We can't claim Utrecht anymore. Uh, let me fix that. Excuse me. Because that will be my next conquest. I see. Just to be done with it, you know? <laughs> Lose high prestige, gain loyalty, influence. I'll give you that. You see death cross down, lovely. Clergy would mm. Papal influence, ooh. I'll, I'll give you a generous donation. I'll take some papal influence. Yeah, it's uh, quite nice. 
Okay, a few more months and I have one less vassal to worry about. And I'm not losing points for being over my Diplo limit. Hmm. Land force limit modifier. That is... 20 years of land force limit. For 50 military power. 10%. Hmm. That is not bad at all. Huh. Sure. I think I'll actually take that one as well. And apparently I lost my military advisor. Whoops. Well... Hmm. I'm gonna take the morale of armies and promote him to level 2. Not quite what I'm looking for here. Marketplace Diplo 36. Guild is Diplo 20. It's gonna take a while. Uh, workshop 38. Six for temple. Actually, how much do I have professionalism? 48.65. No, I'm uh, not quite there. I'm 29%, which is not bad. All things well, considered. I'm considered. that you probably use a lot more mercenaries anyway. Yeah, I do raise a bunch of mercenaries every single time. I'm actually thinking of maybe just going over my army limit instead of... Uh, Pushing mer mercs all the time. Uh, unthinkable. Let's do that. Two over here. Right, like. how much? Not too <laughs> bad. The AE against France is still 147. Oof. About a few. Yeah, it's uh, it's a bit. I'm not bad. disband this army. So, Utrecht, you're allied to Saxony and Riderland. Riderland, I don't really care about. Saxony, though, that might be a bit of an issue. If I can find them. Maybe not that much of an issue, because I don't really see them written largely on the map. Huh. Let me check that. Saxony, where are you? Um, hmm. I'll take the Diplo reputation. Oh, right, it's over here. Saxony is snaking down, and their font is on the top near Kiel. Oh, right. <laughs> it's like, uh, hmm, okay. Um, they have to go through a lot of land before they want to do something. Okay. Oh, something else I need to do. Worms. Where is... Worms. Right, I need to improve our relations. Uh, the Pope can do without me for a while. But I have some land to add to the HRE, so I probably should. How long? Oh yeah, he has to walk the all the way back from Rome. That's why it's taking so long. Alright, I think it's time to take out the tax. And then I will have some points to dev up with. Huzzah! Question is, of course, where should I dev up? Um, well, your capital is always a good idea. Well, it's already 30 dev. Hmm. Uh, coastal provinces? That is actually not a bad idea. Because then you can start building a few more ships at some point, and also more sailors. True. I am no longer running out of sailors, but uh, I used to. Well, I kind of am. <laughs> we still have a well, flagship, don't we? All the pre coastal provinces are now at least uh, 10 then. Ships in this fleet can be upgraded. When do we get the next batch of ships? Um, okay, transports at level 13. Heavies. Oh, yeah. um, merchant levels 
Merchant Manor level 14. And Dromons at 15. So, a couple more levels before we actually have to worry about that. Yep. Hmm. 10 influence, lose influence, support the burgers. Well, I did boost you, so you can now actually... Yeah, I'm going to support the burgers, because... I am Holland, after all. And now they're pissed off. Okay. Uh... Zilsvlaanderen and Walcheren. That's not the worst. Yeah. That was an emissary to Pope. Don't mind if I do. Hmm. Yep. Okay, when can I start integrating Gelre? Gotta be a while. 1192. Okay. It's 12 years from now. That's not too bad. Hold on. We've got three generals. I could technically get a general from the nobility. Don't mind if I do that as well. Aha. New debate in Parliament. Extra diplomats. Spy network construction up. Recruitment time down. Regiment cost down. Advisor cost minus 10%. Sailor recovery speed. Reco recover morale speed. Or national unrest minus 2. And foreign spy detection plus 15. Okay, Ooh. so I... The leader that I got from the nobility is 5231. That's not bad. Not bad, I mean, it would be better later on, but, yeah. you know, it's still better than nothing. Uh, has to cheese pips, so that's a bonus. I'm gonna go for the extra diplomat. Uh, lose army professionalism. Eh. Vexalia. Uh, I can give you local autonomy. Present a scapegoat. Grand Captain dies. Placate the Rajputs. Sure. I insist that this is an error, but okay. I will placate the rush boots because it doesn't cost me anything. <laughs> and now I have an extra diplomat. Huzzah. Uh, Groningen. Okay, so I still need about 15 more um, feudal authority and then I'm in the first uh, reform. Nice. Hmm. Do I really want to keep Groningen as an ally? So, do I... I got some inflation. I could probably lower that with uh, the paper ducats. Remember of the Empire, I know. Who am I? Hmm. Yeah, a lot of people are embracing the institution now. By the looks of it. Yeah, it's starting to spread proper. Okay, minus 10% trade power, that's fine. Uh, how about I send you a small gift? Groningen, you're doing alright for yourself. Oh god, uh -oh. looking at annexing Guinness, it would cost uh, 4,600 Diplo points. Whoa, okay, that's about a few, that's... Uh, four tax, five tax? More. Yeah, it's quite a bit, but the thing is, I do have the modifiers from being uh, mm -hmm. a thingy. Might al almost be worth giving up the throne. Almost. Not quite. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, no, I can keep them as a fee for the time being, and then once I start getting the reforms, which I'm starting to get, actually, in the not too distant future, at least. Mm -hmm. Okay, Worms, you still need to like me more, don't you? Yeah. Quickly see, where is that button again, and why is it not on my hotbar? Now, I wonder... How much uh, France has troops? First of all, they're only level, not tech level 12 on all around. I could have sworn it wasn't diplomatic, maybe it's political. Ah, yeah, it's political. Um, okay, France has only 18,000 men, which is not huge, but on the other hand, there's still plenty of nations that might join a coalition against me if I take anything out of them. Mm. Okay, I have one, two. Two provinces to... No, more. 
three provinces to add to the empire right now. Oh, I can stop building ports. Ports, as in... Uh... Yeah, it's a building. It gives... Uh... Oh. Sailors, naval force limit, and local ship cost. Oh, 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 yeah. That's something I'm definitely gonna build this moment I can get level 13. <laughs> Ports up the wazoo. Indeed. There is some unrest here. I might as well upgrade these ships. I don't have any transports because I don't need them anymore. Yeah, I think you sold some of them to me. Uh, all of them. All, all that I had, anyway. <laughs> uh, I got that free diplomat. Let's improve the relations anyway. And... I don't know, I'm certainly tempted about beating down France again, but that would bring in quite a few people, most likely. Hmm. I'm gonna... First I'm gonna claim on Utrecht, because I can. Done. And I'm gonna cancel my spy, and then I'm gonna break my alliance with Groningen, and probably watch him burn. We still got the royal marriage, so... Okay. But they don't want to vassalize, but the other ones do. All of a sudden, they really do want to vassalize. Hmm. <laughs> Fascinating. Okay, now I want you to be my ally. No, it's not part of fighting a war. And Drew fighting a war. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh. Why did that change? Oh, okay, never mind. Okay. Oh, did I put it under the diplos? Oh, okay. Been messing around with my buttons to uh, to have more than one option under one button, yeah? Ah, oh, yeah. Apparently, I put my imperial under the, the diplo, but I forgot about that. Yeah, I got Imperial and Player Map Mode on the same button. I put it under uh, Political and Imperial. And then Trade has three different buttons for me, like Trade, uh, Trade Goods, and Trade Value. Uh, for me, it's just uh, Trade and Trade Goods. What can I say? I'm a sucker for Trade. <laughs> <laughs> I know that much. <laughs> Um, and I got the regions and areas on one. Okay, I need to be at... Ah, okay. No more knowledge sharing for you. And that's tech up for military. Mm. Yes, please. June 83 for docks. Okay. Oh, I need to probably jump on that uh, knowledge sharing button because of oh, a knowledge yeah. sharing. I wonder if I can... No, no one wants to buy it from me. Kunzigo wants it. It's going to be just 0.17 ducats, but at least it will save me from having to uh, spread it later. True. And it will probably help a little bit with uh, spreading the... The happiness. Vivelgo, you... Okay. What's my... Okay. Hmm, I guess I could build uh, another port down there. Chini has issues with me. Oh, because I have a claim on Namur. Well, that's a policy change. Oh, we're actually fighting a war. Mm. 
again. They've been fighting quite a bit. There's no unrest here, that's good. I thought I was gonna go over more. Oh well. Hmm, okay. Alright, so technically I could build more ships. I have the limit for that, but I don't have the sailor production right now. What I did it's is, like, I, yeah, uh, you can build more ships and keep them in port. They won't use sailors then, but the moment, okay, the moment you send them out, they will take up sailors. So what I did in the beginning was just send out parts of my trade fleet and keep the rest in dock. And then once... Well, yeah. The thing is, I have only five increased a month and oh. I got five trade ships, so... Yeah, um, okay. Well, once your docks are finished, or your ports... Well, two of them are already finished, but they're not increasing that much yet. Hmm. What would be the best attack route for Utrecht? Willenberg, Dordrecht, Vianen, and Betuwe, Amersfoort, Grapenhagen. So not from Amsterdam. Okay, so Amsterdam it is then. Are you, yeah, you're a good seizure. Okay. Hmm, do I risk it on Utrecht? relations over there for the time being. Saxony and Rijderland. You know what? I could call in England, but I won't. I mean, I don't think the Allies are all that terrifying. Well, I got England and you as an ally, so that's terrifying enough for anybody not to attack me. <laughs> but... True. I don't see a point in calling England for a war that is just about one province. Riderland is so far away. Well, is so small. I don't really worry about that. I could bleed them a bit, but that's it. And Saxony is even further away. By the time they get here, I should be done with the siege. Well, you think that? Well, yeah, I hope that, obviously. Eh. Let's go. I did just tech up as well with military, so I'm happy with that. Ah, yeah. Although the level 13 only gives you some flanking range, so it's not that huge. No, but it's still... And by the way, it was a stack wipe, so it's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> See, they were... Uh, yeah, they were, t they were a tech behind. And hey, Rydalant decided to throw some ships my way. Uh, I could probably take that. Okay, so Vexing is fighting a war. I'm pretty sure that they're just as an ally. I think that's your whole fleet, isn't it, Rijderland? Oh, <laughs> Gerald just decided to throw this and ships at it as well. Okay, yeah, uh, you're, you're toast. Okay, over here... Doesn't belong to anyone, but I think I'm gonna go with the... Production. Right, let's block you off. Ooh, another tech up. Oh-ho! Docks. Yes, please. Nar and ports. Very well. Oh, hey, there's Saxony. 9k. Hmm. Not too fast. We start building some ports here and there. When I say here and there, I mean everywhere. Fair enough. Because I have the finances for this. Well, not quite. I, I, I can't build three ports. But yeah, I built three ports, but that's uh, my entire coastline. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, I built every province except yeah, three. Yeah, three. Yeah, <laughs> I know. 
Okay, Saxony does have a bit more armies than I expected them to have, but that's fine. I'm just waiting for them to move into uh, my island range and then block, uh -huh. them, block them off with my ships. Oh, it is that time again. In that case, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Also, check out the other players' perspective. All the links are down below, including the links to our Twitch, Patreon, and Discord pages. And we'll be back tomorrow with more EU4 Voltaire's Nightmare. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.